Nathan. Nathan. I always look sleepy. Danielle's upstairs, but she probably won't want to be on camera because that's Danielle. And you can do another queer talk. Um, I can do one right now. I don't really know what the purpose of this live is, so. I can do a queer talk now, or I can do uh, something else, but I hadn't gone live in a while, so I thought, why not? I'm not doing anything. Where are you? I am in my apartment in New Orleans. I like your shirt. Thank you very much. It is very inexpensive. <laughs> All of your hair. It's a little messy today, clearly, as you can see, but that's fine. Do something else. I don't know what else to do. I, I, most of the time when I go live, I do queer talks, but, um, I mean, I can certainly do that, but, um, you know. What a dad. How's Bo? Is he by you? Yes, he's right next to me. He's good. He's sleeping. He has to do a queer talk. Where are you from? California. Oh, I think I got this shirt at Walmart, to be honest. Which is kind of embarrassing, but what can you do, you know? Anything coming up in the future? Well, that's why I'm out here in New Orleans, is because I'm filming something for the future. So keep your eyes peeled and watch TNT. Do you miss the Fosters? Of course I do. I love the Fosters. So, yes, I'm very sad that it's over. My whole wardrobe is from Walmart. You know, they have some hidden gems there. I don't, prim I, I wish I didn't primarily shop there because I'm pretty sure they're like homophobic. But in New Orleans, or at least where I live, there isn't a Target very close, so. What do you identify as? I identify as, um, human. Attracted to other humans? I don't know. I don't know what you're specifically, um, asking about. Anything else you can tell us about the project you're filming? It's on TNT. Um, uh, it's called Tell Me Your Secrets. And it's, um, gonna be pretty fun. It's it's a it's a cool it's a cool cool show. You should do a meet and greet in New Orleans. I could. Where? <laughs> Where is a good like meet and greet place for a meet and greet in New Orleans? Also, how many people out there would who like live in the Louisiana area or live in a close enough area that and like care about me care about me enough that they would want to drive out and see me like. You know what I'm saying? I would have to find the perfect spot for it. So I don't know. I don't know where that would take place. I don't know New Orleans well enough to know that spot. So if anyone has any suggestions, please help me out. You should come to Chicago. I would love to go back to Chicago. I was there last year, but not this year. Meet and greet in L.A. I can do a meet and greet in L.A. when I'm in L.A. I'm not in L.A. though. Chicago, once again, I was there last year, but I'm not there this year. I'm so sorry. Um, any advice for someone uh, starting college in a month? Um, uh, it's scary. 
but you know don't be too scared because everyone else there who is also a freshman is just as nervous as you are um wants to make as many friends as you do uh so it's everyone is nervous it's not just you you know what i mean so don't 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 forget that like literally everyone else is feeling the exact same way that you're feeling so um who was your favorite person to work with from the shameless cast what it, i can't pick i mean most of my scenes were with cameron I spent a lot of time with him and he's great so but i can't really pick you know <laughs> um come to colorado i would love to honestly colorado is beautiful um fave actor i don't know Ewan McGregor? Um, I don't know. I really don't. Uh, what do you think about capitalism? Oof. It's a nightmare. Don't you think so? I don't know how to stop it. But, I, you know, it's, it's a nightmare. It's created some monsters out of a lot of people. Um... Have you been to Europe? No, I wish I, I wish, I wish. Uh, Argentina, now y- y'all are just saying places that I, I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that's, that you want me to go there, which is cool, and I would love to go there, but I would definitely need to plan, because I don't have any of those plans currently. Um, what do you think of Trump? I, I honestly try not to think of him because I get very ex- intense anxiety when I think too much about him. Huh. Um, dream role. I don't have one. I really, honestly, I don't know. I've said superhero too many times. So I think I'm going to give up on that one. <laughs> I'll go with something else. Hey, Nugget. Are you ready for Halloween? Yes. Immediately ready for Halloween. Where do you want to go? <laughs> um, how did you? Oh my god, no, dude. That'll look so silly. Here, do you want a blanket? Oh, can you just do Yeah. Here, I can also move the, the camera. Yeah, look at... <laughs> what is happening? Oh, you're taking your time. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can't see my Okay. Danielle's in the kitchen. Because we love her. Favorite song of the moment. Hmm. I don't know. I was really jamming to God as a Woman by Ariana Grande for a while. But I haven't listened to that song in a minute. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. What's your favorite type of cereal? I don't know. I like healthy cereal now. Thank you again. I'm helping you out major right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need anything? What? No. You... no. Uh... You're gonna what? I'm gonna tune in. You're gonna tune in. Oh, Danielle is going to be watching upstairs. <laughs> Dude, I'll fucking have you on the call. You know. 
Split in half. Isn't it? Like it should. <laughs> Doesn't it go like split? Yeah, I can't do that. I'm too scared. Because it notifies all my followers to watch it. Oh, okay. Well, then don't. we don't have to do that. Huh? You can contribute, though. Comments and shit. Yeah. She's got some good comments most of the time. So my, my girlfriend will now be in on this. Yes, we love legends. She is a legend, true. She's hanging out with Bo upstairs. Um, anyways. So sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to talk about, though. So. I think my favorite rug rag growing up was... Uh, Tommy. No. Chucky. What's Danielle's Instagram name? At Danielle Bray R A E Williamson. Pretty pretty hard, I know, pretty hard to remember. Do you like Crocs? Um personally for myself, no. <laughs> um on other people you know, also probably a no, but, um, there are some people, like, some old people wear Crocs, and I'm like, get on with your bad self, like, do it, I don't care, that's tight. Why, why everyone flirting? Are, are people flirting with each other? That's cute. I would love that. Oh my god, if I have made, like, a, like, People have made love connections. That would be so cute. My favorite tattoo? I don't know if I have one. I like Angel on my thigh. And I like... Uh, Alan on my hand. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like all of them. I also like the roses on my shoulder, but you can't see them because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. So, sorry. Tattoo tour, I would, that requires like a lot of movement. <laughs> Do you have any more tattoos planned? Um, you know, I always want more tattoos. I don't really plan them, I just get them. Well, actually, most of the time, they are pretty random. Like, they're, I'm like, I go into the shop as a walk-in. But, like, for bigger pieces, like, the roses on my shoulder and the wolf on my arm, that was, like, uh, I, that I had a tattoo appointment for those. And I think I had an appointment for the Rome and the X on my shoulder, um, which I think my mom planned, because my mom and I have the same tattoo on our wrist. Do you have any music related tattoos? Not yet. I hope to. Um, it's hard to know, you know, who to trust at this point. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I'll probably get a Prince tattoo, honestly. I need to do that, actually. Um, treat people with kindness. Is that what is on Harry Styles' concert shirts. I can't remember. Prince, yes. Prince is great, I love Prince. Bozzy songs? I only know that one. Yes, Harry, okay, I got, I got that shit right. Nice, thanks. People kindness is also just like a nice thing to say, but but yes, there it's it's on the Harry Styles shirts, which is cool. I wonder if my girlfriend really is watching upstairs. <laughs> Are you watching?
You were when what? What? You were when what? I got distracted. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. Here, I'll block the hole. <laughs> Isn't this great? Just my torso. All right. Everyone is saying, tell Danielle hi or tell her that I love her. Danielle. Danielle. She's, she's in the other room. I can't. Do you stand any legends? What does that mean? What, what, who's a legend? Prince is an actual legend. So I stan, I guess, whatever that means, Prince. But I don't know who else. Rugrats, now that was a good kid's show. Yeah. Damn right. Hobbies. I don't... No, currently I'm really into reading comic books. I'm watching cartoons. <laughs> she's wearing pants. Oh. oh, she's over here though. She's not on camera. I like the the person who comments middle fingers and the clown face. I wonder what I like that. <laughs> I like that. And maybe they're trying to, like, be mean to me, or I don't know. But I, I, it's so, like, vague that I can't, I don't know. I like it. Stan is just pulled from that song by Eminem. That's where Stan originated from? A song by Eminem. Is that where Stan, like, started? The fuck? What are you doing? Do you want to like sit down on the couch? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, you're not. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want to be in the frame, but there she goes. She's carrying Bo, right? All right. Favorite cuss word? What's your favorite cuss word? Yeah, fuck is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, everyone uses fuck, but, you know. What's the scoop? Penis. Penis is, mm, meh. Why isn't the dog on the screen? I want to see the dog. Man, everyone wants to see the damn dog. He's not really, um... He's, he's kind of shy. Maybe if I need to look at Pick him up. Ooh. This is Bo. I bring him out every single time on every single live. This is my dog. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's over it though. He doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. What a cute dog. <laughs> I'm sitting on your princess blanket. I'm sorry. Okay, bye bye. He's so weird. Oh. There she is. People keep asking me if there's a hickey on my neck. Yeah.
That was my girlfriend. Thoughts on K-pop. You know, I don't really listen to it. <laughs> what? On what? K-pop. Oh. I don't really listen to it. But I don't doubt, or like, I don't underestimate. Honestly, I give a lot of credit to K-pop and J-pop. I'm not sure if that's what it would be called. But a lot of, uh, like, K-pop groups especially that I've seen... Um, do a lot of dancing and that takes a lot of um, ding ding that takes a lot of fucking skill so to, to, to dance and sing at the same time that's not expected a lot of a lot of um, American groups so or or even like groups from the UK I mean not to you know shade one direction but do they did they ever dance I mean they tried to I, you know, I shouldn't say anything about One Direction because Danielle is the ultimate One Direction stan. One Direction ner. I'll just hold the damn phone. Fuck. Oh, no. I look terrible. I didn't shade One Direction. They're great, but they never dance. So, Casey would be mad if she heard you say that about One Direction. <sighs> Listen. I don't, that's not, it's not really a dig. They just don't dance. They even tried to dance in the X Factor, from what I've been told from my girlfriend who has watched all of One Direction things. She flipped her hair just now. She's seen everything. They tried to dance, and they couldn't. It was a disaster, if, if I recall. Or if she recalls, because I haven't seen it. But K-pop groups are incredible. They fucking dance like... They move so much on stage, it's wild. They always knew they couldn't dance, though. That's true. That's true. Okay, but can you even dance? No. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I'm not trying to, like, come for One Direction. I can't dance either. It's okay. Also, One Direction isn't, isn't even together anymore. Sorry. That doesn't, I, don't, I don't mean to be an asshole, but... Where's that? Where's that reunion tour, am I right? They have hella good vocals. Sure. <laughs> Most of them do, yes. K-pop members faint all the time from overworking? I don't doubt that. American, oh, hi. American slash British groups are expected to produce music, not to perform. With K-pop, it's much more of a spectacle. I, I mean, like, yes, that is obvious. I don't see any One Direction fans. People are like commenting right now, saying like, "Oh my God, One D fans are getting crazy," which one isn't a nice word, and two, um, I don't see any of them. I'm, yeah, it's Danielle. It's Danielle commenting all the things that say, like, fuck you, you don't know One Direction. What K-pop group do you like? See, I don't know any K-pop groups, though. Like, I know of BTS. I was told on set one day by a young girl who was on set, uh, accompanied by her mother, that there is the new band... Now, for the kids, or the teenagers, like, when I was in high school or middle school, uh, I guess in high school, when I was, like, uh, when did they come out? One Direction. I was in, like, 10th grade, 
when One Direction came out? Uh, so they were, they became, that was like the band, that was like the boy band of my high school generation. Did I ever really get into them? No. It was not my kind of thing, but I, a lot of my friends did. And that's like, cool. That's, that's cool. But I recently talked to a young girl who said that the new One Direction is called Why Don't We, uh, who I've never heard of in my life, uh, which is not meant to be a dig. I just, I'm too old. Um... And then it was also BTS, and I was like, oh, okay, see, I've heard of BTS, that's, that's, I know them, and I'm, I want to give them credit, because they really dance. Um, so, but I haven't, I haven't listened to anything uh, done by Why Don't We. I think I've heard, you know, I've seen a couple music videos, I think, by BTS, but I haven't heard, or I, yes, I've heard their music, but I've seen their music videos, but I don't remember, honestly, and I'm sorry. But I'm sure they're good, and I'm sure Why Don't We is fine. I, you know. Now people are telling me to listen to Why Don't We. I don't think I'm going to like them, I'll be honest. What? Danielle says no, so I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Why Don't We is in Logan Paul's Logang song. They're in Logan Paul's song? Oh, fuck that. This girl also told me that Logan Paul and Jake Paul were, like, the best. And I was like, oh, no. Who's Danielle's favorite One Direction member? That would most definitely be Harry Styles. Can you rank them? Can you rank them? She asks me. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh... Harry first, obviously. Um, ranking them, ranking them. I feel I was like the most in love with to the least. The most in love with to the least. Yeah, that's the best. Um, okay, the least in love with. I think you were probably least in love with. Um, what's that one's name? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I usually know his names, but. Or I know their names, but, um, you know, not Louie, not Niall. Yeah. Yes. No. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. Someone says it's Harry, Liam, Niall, Louie, Zayn. That's not right. No. Okay. I think it's Harry, I, Zane. I would read the most fan Harry, yeah. Zane. Mm-hmm. Um... I, uh, Harry, Zane, Liam? Harry, Zane, Louie? That's a no for me. Harry, Zane, Louie, Liam, Niall. Yes, but if I were to redo it now. She's redoing it now? It would be? Harry, Zane, Zane Niall, Niall, Louis Liam. Louis Liam. That would be it. So, someone said my order is Harry, 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 and Harry. Oh my God, me. Harry, not, yeah, everyone's just trying to guess. Why does everyone keep asking me my thoughts on Shane Dawson? Please stop. I don't know him. What? Oh, I didn't mean to be aggressive there. I just legitimately don't know him, so I don't know. I've heard about some shit he's done, and no. You know? But I don't know, so fuck. Do you like chain smokers? No, I don't listen to them. They're not my kind of music. What are you doing? I'm trying to do my resume. How do you delete a header? Oh, f- I don't know. Troy Savon? He's cool. I don't know him, once again, but he's cool. 
what is your kind of music? Uh, I like, I don't know. I like a lot of, a lot of music. Um, mostly like more, uh, I don't know what I would classify it as. Hard, hardcore or punk or I guess harder music but I also really like R&B yes I also really like R&B um, some like good R&B and like Beyonce um, I mean I don't know why, you're, I, why my girlfriend is laughing at me I don't know why she's laughing I'm laughing because you're like I'm into really hardcore music I am into hardcore music what? I am into hardcore music, yeah, though. You are. I was just thinking Beyonce. Yes, I love Beyonce. I think Beyonce is incredible. I think Beyonce is amazing. I already admitted to saying that my my favorite song, my favorite song recently has been "God Is a Woman" by Ariana Grande. So I'm not ashamed. Did you listen to Hollywood Undead in high school? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I was into actually, like, very hard stuff because my brother was at the time, and so I was like... I don't know. I was really into... I got very into Whitechapel. Connor got in, into Texas in July... Um, it was quite it was quite intense now I'm more into the like uh, I don't remember what it's uh, there's like a playlist on fucking Apple Music that's called like Stoner Sludge and something and it's all like it's all like hardcore music but it's not there's no like screaming in it per se or they're not not all the time do you like old school like queen yeah who doesn't like queen they're called like i need to look up this i don't know my, my phone has the fucking um, Apple Music on it, but I can't remember the category. It's like Stoner, comma, Sludge, comma, Doom, or something like that. I don't know. It sounds like music that plays at, like, the gates of hell. And, like, that's pretty tight. You should come to Memphis. I probably will go to Tennessee at a certain point soon. Your eyebrows go hard. Yeah. I don't listen to 21 Pilots. I have not listened to the new Panic at the Disco. Panic at the Disco was one of my favorite bands in middle school. So I love Panic at the Disco, but I haven't listened to their new album. It's a new album, right? I think so. Do you listen to Muse? Not really. I used to, but not really. Someone said, huh, gay? Yeah. <laughs> a day to remember, I don't listen to a day to remember. Talk about Shameless, why? You can watch season eight on Netflix now. Uh... <laughs> Uh, do you like Green Day? I like their older stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Do you listen to Anti Flag? I saw Anti Flag live. I didn't listen to them before, but now I do because I saw them live with Straight From The Path, which was incredible. Straight From The Path is so good. Season seven killed my spirit, I'm sorry. You don't have to watch season eight. You could, but you don't have to. I understand. Are you friends with the guy who plays Ian? Cameron, yeah. He's a friend of mine. People just keep asking, people keep putting like artists or like musicians in the comments. Y'all just want me to answer how I feel about each and every one of these people? Isn't that kind of boring? Also, people are asking for you to come on the live. What's so funny? How do you feel about Cimarelli? Please respond, huge fan. Oh, man. Uh, I'm... No comment. <laughs> Um, yeah, everyone wants you to come on live. Should I, how much time do I have left? In these last, oh, okay. Well, in these last, like, 23 minutes, should I make it a queer talk? Sure. Should I make it a queer talk? <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm sorry, I looked to you first. Yeah, I screwed that. You can, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, just move it. I don't think that's, okay. What? Oh. Yeah, I'll go fast. <laughs> uh, okay. Should I do a queer talk? Should I end, should I make this a queer talk right now? Because now people are just saying they're not really giving. <laughs> you you can make money doing that. I'm not doing that. I see one person say yes to queer talk. Literally, everyone has said yes. I don't, who, why do y'all see the comments? Y'all see the comments, I think, long before I do. So, listen, don't get so mad. I'll make it a queer talk, okay? Ugh. Oh. Okay. It's a queer talk. Now, if you have never been in, I feel like a YouTuber. If you have, welcome back to my channel. If so. you have never seen a queer talk before, um, basically what a queer talk is is uh, me talking about specifically LGBTQIA plus things uh, because I know that a lot of my audience is LGBTQIA plus. Um, so typically, I answer questions or um, comments or I, I don't know. I answer things to the best of my ability or I talk about things to the best of my ability. Uh, I don't often talk about myself or my personal experience, but I try and give general advice or information, if that makes sense. So if you have any questions relating to LGBTQIA plus topics, come on and, come on and ask. Is Danielle is LGBTQ plus? She's lesbian, gay, bisexual, oh. transgender, <laughs> queer, yeah, no. I, she, I mean, if she wants to answer that, she can, but, well. 
Well, now that you've said that... <laughs> uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um... What does the IA mean? Typically, it means intersex. Uh, the I means intersex, and then the A means asexual or agender. So I like boys and girls, but I like boys more. Does that would that make me bi? It's, it makes you whatever you want to be. I can't dictate what you are. Um, if you like girls and boys, I guess that is typically, yes, the definition of bi, but you could also look into other sexualities and see which one you actually very much, like, really identify with. I don't know. You could be, um, what's the word? You could be, like, bisexual, but homoromantic, so you're way more romantically interested in men than you are in women, you know what I mean? There's tons of different things. It's all a spectrum. Yeah. Uh, how do you know if you're non-binary? I, I, I can't tell you. A lot of these, some of these questions, I wish I could give advice to, but just like, everyone's experience is different so everyone's like coming to terms with their identity or whatever it's almost always a different experience for everybody it's always individual so dream last night that it was the 4th of July. I'm not patriotic, though. Um, should I make a queer club at my school? If you can, hell yeah. You'll make a ton of friends. Do you have the same opinions that your character Trevor has in season seven? Uh, in relation to what? I don't really. Is your opinion, in your opinion, are there any questions that the community wants people to stop asking them? Oh, um, probably, I can't think of them right now, but, uh, <laughs> Definitely. Um, I mean, there are things that you shouldn't, there are always things that you should not ask, um, you know, gay people or trans people or, you know, there are things you just don't ask because there are things that you wouldn't ask, you know, a straight person or a cis person. Um, it's just not the same, like the same standards aren't applied, I guess, to, to um, queer or LGBT identified people because they're viewed as not as normal, so feel I guess people feel more inclined to ask about their personal life because they're trying to like inform themselves or whatever, but really it's just invasive and inappropriate. Um, sorry, I'm looking through the comments because when I talk a bunch of questions go by or when I answer a question a bunch of them go by uh, my girlfriend said she likes everyone because love is love what should what would she be then uh, I don't know once again I can't really tell you what she is or what she isn't. If she loves everyone because love is love, then 
I mean, that's, that's good. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's totally up to her what she wants to, whether she wants to label herself or not. If she's just attracted to whoever she's attracted to, then that's cool. There's a group of people outside. There have been people going by in fucking white. I don't know what it is. It's, it's probably. A, it's not a fucking Labor Day. Never mind. Would you ever play a cis character? Yeah. Oh. You see? Yeah. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Maybe it's a wedding. Perhaps. Um, coming out advice. Okay, I, so many people are asking for coming out advice. Um, I say this every time. Uh, the best coming out advice that I can give is always, you know, if you are, uh, uh, if you want to come out to your family uh, in like face to face, you know, person to person. Um, and you're scared about it, then I just highly suggest already starting from, you know, as long as you are already starting from a calm place, start a conversation about, um, you know, yourself. If you want to brace how they'll feel prior to that, you can always bring up an LGBT celebrity around them and say, and ask them how they feel about that person. And then maybe you'll get more of insight or more insight into how they feel. Um, but if you want to come out to them face to face, I always recommend doing it, you know, as calmly as possible because it, it, honestly, there's no wrong way to come out. If you want to scream it, if you want to shout it, if you are angry about it, that's not wrong. Um, just the way in which people receive your coming out, they often, I guess people are selfish. They often take it very personally. So if you come out and you're screaming and you're uh, yelling that you're gay. A lot of people will take it as a personal attack, even though it's just not. But I often recommend trying to be as level-headed as possible, just speaking from your heart, speaking very truthfully, very honestly. Um, if you cry, that's okay. Um, you know, and just expressing, you know, that uh, you still want them in your life and all that stuff and uh, you know, it would mean a lot if they continue to support you and you, you still want them uh, as friends or as family or whatever. Um, and then you can see how they'll react. If you are too um, afraid to do that face to face, which I understand because you are never, it, you can never be sure of how people are going to react, whether they're going to get violent, whether they're going to get emotional, or whether they're just going to completely shut down. You don't know. Um, so I, the other thing I recommend is either writing an email or a letter, um, doing the exact same thing, saying, you know, truthfully how you feel and where you're coming from and, you know, saying that you still want them in your life and you love them and all that stuff um, and giving it to them and um, then giving them time to process the information. I also recommend always giving, um, if they're, they really don't know anything about the community, um, I always recommend giving resources like website names or group like information like PFLAG or stuff like that or any LGBTQ groups in their area. You know, I highly recommend giving out or giving resources to the people you're coming out to because um, then they can do research on their own and feel like they've educated themselves, which is how it's supposed to be. Um, so that's the advice I, I always give about coming out because it's, um, it's hard to do. Uh, okay, that was a lot of talking. A subtle way to ask someone their pronouns. Often, I think the subtlest way to do it is to be like, oh, hey, sorry, just to let everyone know my pronouns are, and saying your own pronouns, and then potentially going being like, can I get everyone else's pronouns so I'm not fucking weird? Or so I don't fuck anything up or make anybody upset or whatever? 
the best way to do it usually is to proclaim your own pronouns and then it'll encourage usually other people to do it for themselves as well. Because if you're in like a social situation. Uh, how did you come out to your girlfriend as what? Uh, I didn't. I don't know what that is referring to. I came out to you as what? No, I came out. I came out to Danielle as goth um, at the beginning of our relationship, and she immediately accepted it. <laughs> she said, "I'm goth too," and from there, you know. But you aren't goth. How dare you? I'm more... Internally. Honestly, yeah. More personality-wise, I would say I'm goth. Clothing-wise, I really have been... Um, fucking up, you know? Ugh. a repressed emo. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty pretty accurate. Danielle's just off camera making faces. <laughs> Are you tired? Always. <gasps> Bo has something to say. Alternative ways for binding, not binders. I always say um, uh, if you double up on um, sports bras, sometimes that works. Um, never, ever, ever use... Uh, why can't I ever remember the name of this? Holy fucking shit. Ace bandage. Never, ever use ace bandage. That will hurt you. Way more than you think it will. Um, uh, someone said KT tape. You can use KT tape. That's usually for people with smaller chests, but you can still use it. If you have a bigger chest, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, but I don't know if it'll be as successful, like, binding, if you want, like, flat. Uh, um, there's also, I think, trans tape, but I haven't... I don't know... I, it's the same thing as KT tape, but I think it's made for trans people. Um, yeah, don't use Ace Bandage, don't use duct tape. Um, those are not things that are meant for that. Um, you will hurt yourself. You'll break a rib, you'll crack a rib, you'll hurt your lungs, you'll hurt your back. It will not end well, so don't do it. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about the cis making jokes about their gender identities example I identify as tired hmm I've never thought about that yeah that's kind of annoying but um, if they're not actually legitimately referencing like being trans like, if it's, I, I, you know, you, I don't know. If, like, if we're talking about something and it's clearly, a, it's clearly, like, someone's saying it to make fun of a trans person, uh, 
So if, if someone says it then, then yeah, I think that would be annoying, but I can't ever tell. It's kind of offensive, offensive either way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty annoying. How did you get your skin so clear? I don't... Uh, it's just the way it is. I don't... I don't know anything about skincare or skin treatment or anything like that. I am not just perfect, as my girlfriend just said. I just, I don't have, my skin is kind of clear. Danielle need to hang out soon. Stephen underscore Ross 13. Oh, we were here together. Uh. Okay. Um. Are you even real? I don't know. I was born. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm just real. She was my Sheila. Love you, Steven. I don't even remember. I remember two I remember two to this is not a burger no, 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 no. oh okay no, 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 no. oh Jesus there's like one minute remaining there's no time anyways it was lovely speaking to you <laughs> everybody um, this was kind of an uneventful uh thing so sorry about that but uh i'll i'll talk to everybody later i suppose uh i hope everybody has a nice rest of their day and you drink a lot of water and you get really good sleep tonight because we know that I won't. <laughs> Anyways, bye.